G'day ladies and gents, my name is GeForce Aaron and today I'll be taking you on a track guide around the Bahrain International Circuit. This lap time that I'm showing you today is a 124.7 and this lap time is a valid lap in time trial. Heading into turn one, we've got DRS activated, we're up in an eighth gear and we're gonna break just before the 100 meter board all the way down to first gear, completely ignore that curve on the inside as it will unsettle the car. On exit we're going to short shift all the way up to 4th gear, hit that curb on the inside, ride the curb at turn 3, trying to minimise track distance, activate DRS all the way up into 8th, and on entry at turn 4 we're going to break just after the 100 metre board. We're going to have half our car off the track to open up the entry of the corner, go down to 2nd to help the rotation of the car, but then short shift straight up to 3rd, and avoid that curb on the outside of our turn 4 as it will unsettle the car. Into turn 5 we want to maximise the entry of the corner. We're going to have the left wheel completely off track and the right wheel just within the limits. We're going to let the car brake, brake hard, down to 5th, we're going to touch the kerb on the inside of turn 6 and then again touch the kerb on the inside of turn 7. Completely ignore this kerb on the outside as if you do touch it, it will unsettle the car. Heading down to turn 8. We're going to brake hard just as that curb on the outside ends, as soon as it's out of vision. We're going to brake hard all the way down second gear, open up the corner as much as we can, late turn and avoid that curb on the inside as it will unsettle the car and same with the outside, you want to completely ignore it. Short shift up to third on exit to maximise the exit of the corner. Again, we're going down to turn nine and we're going to open up the entry again. Hit that curb on the outside with the right tyre, completely ignore the curb on the inside of turn 9, just to open up the corner for turn 10. Touch that curb on the outside just a bit, and then go all the way down to first gear, short shifting up into second and third, and then ignore that curb on the outside of turn 10 as it will unsettle the car. Activate DRS again, all the way up into eighth gear, you're going to try and do the eSports line heading into turn 11, you're going to have your car Halfway over the curb, and just after the 100 meter board, you're going to brake into fourth gear, late turn in. You're going to short shift up to fifth to maximize the exit and avoid that curb on the outside as it will spit you out. On entry to turn 12, you're going to ha have the left tire touch the inside of the curb to open up the exit of the corner. Completely ignore the curbs on the inside of turn 12 as it is an auto spin curb. On entry to turn 13, we're going to use a bit of the curb here to open up the entry and as soon as you see that light post on the left disappear from vision, you're going to brake all the way down to the fourth gear. You're going to touch that curb on the inside and we're going to maximise the track by using the curb on the outside, just keeping it within the limits. Again, all the way up in the eighth, down the last corner at 14 and 15, you're going to use the eSports line, brake just after the 100 board have half the car over the curb and do a late turn in, it completely ignore that curb on the inside as that will unsettle the car and try and avoid touching these curves on the outside as it may unsettle the car. Now that is a lap of the Bahrain International Circuit.